One month ago, NYCFC, the reigning champions of the MLS, sat in an unfamiliar position, 12th of 14 teams in the Eastern Conference. Five match days into the season, they were just one, one, and four, with four points and an average goal differential of minus four. Their reigning golden boot winner, Valentin Castellanos, hadn't even put a shot in the back of the net. That day specifically was the last time I covered this team, April 17th against Real Salt Lake. That was the first of a five-match homestand split across Yankee Stadium and City Field. That game in the Bronx, they won 6-0. Castellanos scored four goals, and now, seven matches split across two competitions later, they haven't lost since, and a 12th place standing has returned to a much more familiar one at the top of the MLS. Results are one thing, though. This is a team that's pretty used to them. How they've been coming is an entirely different story. Of the now seven game unbeaten streak in the MLS, that's nine across all competitions, dating back to an impressive 1-1 draw against the eventual CONCACAF champion Seattle Sounders on April 13th. The last three have been wins, and the last five clean sheets, that's 450 minutes in a row without allowing a goal, a new club record, and a team that's winning because of its defense more than its attack. And it's coming because of different reasons too. One could point to the rock solid Star Wars, Alexander Kayens, despite like in the presence of one of the league's best defenders, his right-hand man, Maxime Cheneau, now locked in the blue until 2024. You could also look to Malte Amundsen, Chris Gloucester making a name for himself off the bench, or the stout leadership of Sean Johnson in net. Perhaps even the tactical side of things, head coach Ronnie Dowell's decision to shift to a five-man back, that made the difference in a 2-0 victory over DC United. More than anything, it may just be the ability to get back to a normal schedule take the home field and recharge the batteries as Coach Dyla refers to it after what was such a tough schedule earlier in the year. Either way, it's clear that something is working, and last night's one over win over the Chicago Fire at City Field was the perfect example of it. The score could have been more lopsided, certainly, with NYCFC owning 60% of the possession and generating 15 shots, while the Fire, they didn't get their first on net until the closing minutes, and even then, none of those were any real chances and things never really felt in the balance. There was a party atmosphere in the stands from start to finish, and the constant defense was the reason for it. Different names though, they've contributed on the offensive side of things too. The aforementioned Castellanos, he was nowhere to be found in this one, sidelined due to an accumulation of yellow cards. Aber comfortably slid into his place, however, cashing in on a penalty kick on a handball picked out by VAR, and that put NYCFC ahead 1-0 for good in the 23rd minute. It was a feel-good moment for the GOAT, as Tavon Gray referred to him with Aber, gathering around the outfield wall with fellow members of the Brazilian Mafia, decked out in volt kits and shrouded by the aura of the smokestacks adorning the club's annual pride game. It was a great atmosphere, one where the boys in blue have continually become just a little bit more comfortable at their home away from home, and it resulted in another great win. And with the way this defense is competing right now, there's sure to be plenty more wins in the future too. We don't know what that ultimately lead to, but for now, it is the champions right back on their throne with plenty more soccer to come. A big thanks to Jack Roche for helping out with photos for this report. And as always, covering the New York City Football Club, I'm Alex Boltz, WFUV Sports.